I'm Sue Meteorologist Alex Hyverson and here with your Center County Report forecast. Our current cameras are looking out at Beaver Stadium where we can see overcast skies affecting our area. Our current temperature here in State College, a nice 66 degrees start there our morning, slightly colder than it was yesterday with a dew point at 64 degrees and visibility at 10 miles. An east-southeasterly wind is affecting us right now, 6 miles per hour, so maybe a little bit of a breeze, however, it could be a lot worse. Our weather headlines for this week, Florence remnants are to come into our area tonight and even into tomorrow morning with some clearing out of the rain midweek, as well as a couple of fall temperatures may be in store for later this weekend. Temperatures across Central County, we can see 66 in State College and Williamsport and even down in Johnstown with areas of Altoona and Harrisburg seeing 70 degrees to start out their morning. Erie, also typically colder, is seeing 7 degrees to start off their day, and Pittsburgh a nice 69 degrees to start off their morning. Our future cast showing these temperatures pretty much staying in the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the day today. 5.30 we can see 70 degrees here throughout most of the portions of central Pennsylvania. Moving into tonight, those temperatures will actually been to begin to increase before decreasing tomorrow at 8 a.m. 69 degrees, so only a 3 degree difference in our temperatures around this time today versus tomorrow. Moving into Tuesday, those temperatures will actually begin to warm up because we are not seeing as much rain tomorrow, with Tuesday sitting at 4.30 p.m., 80 degrees here in State College. And those temperatures will begin to decrease even until Wednesday at 5 a.m., 62 degrees, so the coldest we have seen in this stretch of three days. Our current radar and satellite showing those overcast skies beginning to affect our area this morning, as well as those remnants of Hurricane Florence moving up into Pennsylvania and through the Virginias. We can even see more of that counterclockwise movements due to that low pressure system of that hurricane or what was that hurricane affecting areas of northern Virginia and most of West Virginia to start off their mornings. Our future cast showing that by 3.30 today, almost most if not all of Center County will be affected by the remnants of Hurricane Florence. Areas like Johnstown and Pittsburgh may be seeing some stronger rain uh, today at 3.30 from those remnants. And even on to tonight, we can see a couple of severe storms may be affecting areas just north of us, and they may begin to move their way down to affect us later uh, t this afternoon and into tonight. There may be a couple of storms, even this band of storm moving into our area, 7.30 tomorrow. However, throughout most of the day tomorrow, we should not see any sort of precipitation and maybe a few scattered showers around 5 p.m. as you're heading on your way home from work or from classes. Moving into Wednesday, we can see that those showers begin to make their way completely out of our system. With Wednesday at 7.30 in the morning, basically no cloud cover for southeastern uh, Pennsylvania. However, there may be a couple of partly cloudy skies to affect us tomorrow. And your forecast for today, a high of 72, so slightly colder than it has been this weekend, with rain expected from those remnants of Hurricane Florence. And for tonight, a low of 67 degrees with that possible thunderstorm affecting us again. Though there were stronger storms of seeing north of us, so those may begin to work their ways down to us tonight. And for tomorrow, a high of 77 degrees with showers likely both in the morning around 7.30 and on your way home around 5 p.m. tomorrow. Your seven-day forecast, we can see those showers affecting our area tonight. However, Wednesday and even into Saturday, mostly clear skies. Uh, the sun will be making its way out for almost hopefully that last touch of summer. Before Sunday, we can see those more fall-like temperatures. We are getting to the almost mid to end point of September, so we should be seeing colder temperatures affecting our area. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Alex Iverson. Have a great day.